In stage 45, we're gonna build up Robbie's left foot and test its servos. So, get the parts ready that we got from this stage and also the foot, servo and ankle frame from stage 37. And we are going to fit the ankle frame servo as we did previously in the previous stage, making sure that the cable sits nicely between the two and then dropping the servo down where we have two connections. Okay, once you've done that carefully, just take up any slack of the cable and then once you're happy with that, make sure that the servo moves backwards and forwards. And then once you've done that, we need to take the left ankle joint from stage 36, placing that in the end of the ankle, like so. And then we're gonna secure them down now with six millimeter M2 pan head screws which you got with this stage. Now once you've done that, take the cable and Press the cable down the channel, bringing it around the back like so, and then through the ankle, and then feeding that through the hole in the back that we can see here coming through here like so. Next, take your servo and remove the four screws. Then take the protective cover off and put that to the side. Take your sticky pad, place your sticky pad, as you can see here, on the end of the connector. And then taking your servo, take the cable and feed that through the inside so that the cable comes out of the back of the hole like so. And then carefully, connect up the cable that we pulled through earlier onto the back of the servo. You may need some tweezers for this. Carefully connect that up. And then once we've done that, there we go, carefully place servo into position and then taking the four screws that we took off earlier. Place that down and then screw them up, but don't over tighten them, just nip them up. Okay, so do that to the remaining screws and then we'll come back in a moment for the next part of the stage. Now once you've done that, connect up probably his ankle to channel 6, okay, which is the 
second one along from the SD card. Once you've done that, get your battery, carefully plug your battery in, and you would see Robbie's ankle move, and also the servo here will do a left and a right movement and backwards and forwards once again until we disconnect it. Okay, if it does not do that, refer to the troubleshooting guide in your instructions. And then carefully remove the cable. Next, we need to then finish off fitting Robbie's foot. So we take the cover, carefully place that on top like so and then using three of the six millimeter countersunk screws place those in the bottom like so up don't over tighten them but make sure that they're flush with the bottom and then take the left ankle panel Placing that over Robbie's ankle, like so, and then take two more of the counter sunk screws, and then screw that down. have Robbie's left foot assembled. Take the lower leg frame that came with this stage and place the two parts together like so. Once you've done that, take two of the six mil countersunk screws and place that down into position like so. And then once you've done that, we're going to take hold of left foot, making sure that the servo is in the upright position, and then with the ankle, making sure that you've got the servo and the connector in the right position. Press that in so okay.
once you've done that. Take the servo cable that came with this and put two protective pads on the end. Then take your foot, once again, placing that into the right channel. Diagrams in stage 43. Connect up the battery just to do another test. on Robbie's ankle. Okay. Disconnect it. Carefully disconnect the cable and then safely put that aside. Now, next we're gonna be testing Robbie's right leg. So take the right leg assembly from stage 32 and then Looking at stage 43, making sure that you've got the right connector. Connect that up and just to make sure it's the closest one to the SD card. Connect that carefully into position like so. And then carefully holding it as close as possible because you will see that Robbie's leg will move from left to right, backwards and forwards, making sure that we give it plenty of room, okay? Make sure there's nothing close by that could knock over. Okay. And that's it, disconnect the battery. Carefully disconnect the connector. If you've got any problems and it's not doing that, refer to the troubleshooting guide Going back, making sure that all the IDs on your servos are correct and all the connections onto the servos are all connected properly as well. And that completes this stage.